Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm in my PC save. I'm just going to hit on up the weekend mission, mainly because I want to get some more Quicksilver. You can see here I've got 7,650. Now, that was just from running the expedition and ending it off from that new console over there, and I got awarded a shed load of the stuff. But I'm just going to run this weekend mission, then I'm going to go over to the Quicksilver Bender, and we're going to get some of the better Quicksilver items. So this is Taming fauna so let's go do that mission i guess lovely jubbly yep got you yeah 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 okay get rid of that screen let's get in my ship and let's get down to the planet now i have already done the weekend mission with my friends that i do every friday yeah it's 6 p.m in the uk time that's going to change at the end of march though because of daylight time saving it's going to go back to 7 p.m on the friday but anyway, I'll let you know when I get to the planet. It takes a little bit longer on PC than it does on my PlayStation. Yeah, well, we've arrived, educated people. And uh, let's spin this around then. Now, it does say that it's going to be a, a very fauna-dense planet. Now, the planet that it points you to is one of these sort of cabled moons. It's, it's only got one type of fauna on there these round ball creatures but there are quite a lot of them that you can feed and you can get this done relatively quickly now once you've landed on this planet and the mission actually fires up you can go to a neighboring planet that has got more types of fauna but i'm just going to set it down on this planet we're going to go and tame this one type of fauna and i've deliberately flown away from the mission marker because the mission marker was on the dark side of the planet i want to land on the light side of the planet because there's more creatures in daytime than at night now that incoming message is from the stories. I've got multiple missions at the moment that are sort of all interwoven into each other. I will be continuing on with the Atlas Path and also the Artemis quest line inside of my normal play, but I'm just grabbing some Quicksilver today. Right. Let's have a look, see if we can spot some creatures on this planet. Now they take about a good 15 seconds to spawn in on the PlayStation 5. It's probably going to take roughly the same amount of time right now there we go there's one over there now i did just deconstruct all of my freaking bait sticks for feeding these guys because chronos was sniffing them out all the time so hopefully i can make some here we go let's just make a load of 30. i do i've got to tame 44 of these little balls so these are the creatures that are on this planet that's a creature right there that's it that, that's apparently a creature so there we go let's feed him there you go. Eat up, mate. Yeah, don't eat it all at once. And there we go. We've tamed one. Um, I'm not seeing any others moving around. I mean, there's lots of balls on this planet, but no, they're not all alive. There you go. There's one that's alive over there. Right, so we've only managed to tame one so far. This is going to take us some time. Okay, here we go. Bam. Pow. Pow. Have that! Get tamed! Yeah, okay, cool. There we are. And uh, can I throw it that far? No, no, I can't. Right, we'll have to run up that hill. I think I might have already tamed that one, though. Okay, so you can see here, it, it it's not a great planet for taming creatures. And they take ages to freaking eat them. So I've tamed three now. Now, you can just stay in the same spot and, and keep feeding the same creatures over and over again. But I'm just going to show you, just for, just for the sake of it. I'm going to fly to a neighbouring planet, and with that one there, that big ringed planet that's right behind us. And I'll tame some creatures there. We'll get this done so much quicker on that neighbouring planet. But land on this one first. Maybe feed a creature so the, the count starts or something. And then do what I'm doing. Just fly to this neighbouring ringed planet over here. And I think you're going to have a, a far easier task of feeding these creatures. So here we go. Let's fly on down. Let's see if I'm right, people. Meow. And zoom. I'll stop hassling me. I'll answer my phone when I've got time. Right, here we go. Let's just stick it amongst this area here, I think. Takes a little while to render in on my old PC. And I get this sort of thing saying that the landing area is not clear. It's because of the, the, the distance draw, I think, people, more than anything. I don't think that's anything but my PC trying to handle the game. 
Okay, right, now, you're not going to see the creatures straight away. It's got to go to the seed pool, it's got to seed them in, it's got to spawn them in. You might be lucky and see the odd sky creature or airborne fauna uh, appear fairly early on, but look, there's one over there. I mean, if you slow, if you if you're flying slowly to a planet, you know, things seem to work okay. But if you do what I did and just hammer it down, it can be a little bit finicky at times. Right, okay. Did that creature see that? No. He's further away than I thought. He's bigger than I thought. Oi! Come here, you. Okay, we've got that. We've got the attention of that one. We we'll get the attention of this one as well. I mean, you can tell the creatures are creatures a lot easier on this planet, can't you? You know, look, there's all creatures around me, actually. I've tamed loads already. That's uh, We're up to six. So I've already doubled what I was at. Seven now. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. Just heading over this way. There's a creature over there. There's two more over there. I'm going to head towards them. Oh, there's a whole herd. Let's see if we can get their attention. Oh, there's smaller creatures in between the larger ones as well that we're just taming just ambiently at the moment. There you go. Have that. Got a whole bunch of them over there. Can I get his attention? Nope, but there was one right there in the crevice. There you go, mate. Now can I get him? Let's see. Yep, got his attention. Cool. There we go. So I'll reconvene with you in a bit, people. We've already done 20 on this planet. You see how much easier that is? It's far easier, isn't it? Far easier, people. Okay, jumps. Well, I've only got like what three more to go, and there's loads on this hill that have just spawned in by where my ship was when I first landed. So I think I'm gonna nail this any second now. There we go. Feed up, keep creatures. Yum yums. There we go, and we're done. I guess we can head on back up to the Nexus, and we can see what we can spend all of my quicksilver on people inside the universe. I guess. See you later, creatures. Well, that was fun, feeding creatures. Yeah, um, head on into the old space anomaly. Cool, yeah. Yeah. I could do with building a slightly better PC. I mean, yeah, and just use my laptop for capturing and um, making my thumbnails and video editing or something. Then just have a dedicated PC for games. The only thing is, my room is really small, and I know that PCs get extremely hot. Could turn me into an oven, couldn't it? You know? Could take up clay making, use it as a kiln. Right, anyway, let's head on over this way. Let's go and see what Johnny Five has for me. Well, firstly, I need to go and hand in this mission over here. Lovely jubbly. Now, there is a little bit of a sneaky glitch that you can do. After you've purchased everything with your Quicksilver, you can do some sort of reload method and get all your Quicksilver back and keep all the items. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to I'm just going to go through and collect all the items this way. So what do I really want? I do like the industrial crane arm. We'll have that because I would use that. Scorching jetpack trail. I do quite like that one. That's quite nice. I'm not overly fussed about the decal decals for now. I do like the fusion jetpack as well to go with the ship that I've got. All right. I'm not going to bother with any of the holograms. I wish you would shut up. It makes a lot of noise, doesn't he? I quite like that. Quite like that. We're going to run out of Quicksilver quite rapidly. I quite like that as well. I don't see the point in having any of the capes right now because they're a little bit broken. Um, I don't overly use the grass or the flowers. I do occasionally, but not as much as some people do. And I don't like any of those colours for the actual freighter trails. I'd like a nice red one at some point. Uh, yeah, um, illuminated pot. I have used that in the past, but I've got no use for it right now. Uh, bubble pipe, definitely I use that. I use that quite a lot. Okay, we keep going down then. Uh, what else do I want? Bubble vat to go with the bubble pipe. Yes, I do like that as well. Fireplace, that's a nice one. I have used that from time to time. What else do I want? I do like that as far as plants go, but I'm getting really low. I'm really low now on the old... I want, I, yeah, the mud hut. I do like that as well. That's quite handy to have. Ooh, I can't buy much more. 
And yeah, I can't even buy these now. They're, they're too high. Or oh, even these are freaking pricey. I'm getting a few things in... Oh dear, the red cadmium. I do like the red one. Alright, well we'll just carry on for now. Yeah, let's see what else we can get. Ah, oh, it's my favourite jetpack. I can't feel afford that now either. Okay. Now look, we got that. Cool. Oh, okay, we keep going, keep going. And what I would like is that little lamp that's got the, the glow glow flies that fly around it. They're quite cool. Don't really want... Oh, look, there's all the armour. Oh, dear, I should have unlocked all the armour, shouldn't I? That'd be cool. The terrarium, I like that. Oh, I like that too, that's cool. There's a lot that I still want. I want these. Man, okay. Curly corals, I would like that. I'd like the actual aquarium as well. Oh, my days. Oh, I do like this. I want that. I've only got 350 left. I don't think I can afford that little lamp. There's all the trophies. Oh, there's so much to get. Okay, well, the, the little light lamp that I wanted with the glow flies in isn't there. So I wonder if that was an expedition reward or something. But anyway, I'm all spent. I, I can afford decals, and that's about it right now with fireworks. <laughs> no, I'll just keep this lot for now. Now, I can do the three other Quicksilver missions that are sitting here for me to do. Or well, what I could do is I could fire up the save editor and I could just stick in a shed load of freaking Quicksilver for me for my next time that I log in. And then I could go get all the actual gear that I want and all that sort of stuff. Would that ruin it for me? Does that limit the stuff for me to do? Uh, it's a tough one, isn't it? I kind of want to do it the legit way. Maybe just do the weekend missions each week. It gives me a bit of content to do and put out there. And it gives you me running it solo every week as well. And slowly building this save up. I won't rush. I won't rush, people. I'll just, I'll just keep it as it is for you guys in the viewer verse. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye over here. But then I'm going to jump over to my actual Captain Steve save. And, and say goodbye over there. So here we go. Let's just quit out to desktop. Lovely jubbly. And yes... And I want to go back to me and me. Go. Cool. Well, there you go, people. Hopefully you're enjoying this little playthrough. My new save after Omega. And yeah, all my missions inside of my log. I've got a shed load of them to do. And it's knowing what to do in what order. But I want to do the Artemis quest line and the Atlas path. And then at the end of the Atlas path, I want to do the Atlas Eternal. That's the whole reason I fired up this save. But I'm getting sidetracked doing little side jaunts and becoming a pirate of biscuits. Yeah, if you didn't see my last episode. I know how to make nip nip biscuits. Thanks for Hero for You, another content creator out there. If you haven't seen Hero for You, go hit him up. Very cool videos. Till next time, people. Salute him on and goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.